Hey guys, so in the last video I showed you guys how to get beach nails. Today I'm going to show you another technique. So first I'm just going to start off by dry brushing my gel. This basically just means that I have a very small amount of product on my brush and I'm really pressing hard just to work it into the nail. And I'm also using two different colors. After I cure it, then I'm going to apply a clear gel and this is the same one that you saw me use in the first beach nails video. And really this is all optional, you can completely omit this step and do one flat color or nothing at all. So meanwhile you want to make a transparent white. So to do that you just want to take your white gel and mix that with either a clear base or a top gel. But don't cure just yet. Next taking a liner brush you're going to dip that into your clear base or top gel and now drop it onto the nail. Thus the droplet technique. And FYI you can do this with a dotting tool but you want to make sure that you don't actually touch the surface of the nail with the dotting tool because it will leave a mark. So that's why I prefer the liner brush and with the brush you can control the shape. You don't actually just have to make circles. So really this technique isn't exclusive to making water effects. You can do any type of design you want. Now you'll also notice that sometimes when I'm working in an area I'll actually move to a different spot. That's just to give those drops time to expand and spread so that I know where I actually need to fill in. The more product on your brush, the bigger the circle, and vice versa. So once you're happy with the look, you can go ahead and cure. And again, I want to add some 3D elements, so I'm going to take a Soak Off Builder Gel and use that to adhere these crushed shells. These are pretty heavy and they're also not the thinnest product that you should put on your nail, so I'm going to apply these and then I'm going to go back in with more of that gel, after curing the first layer of course, and I'm just going to basically encapsulate those. So taking a generous amount of gel, I'm going to apply this to the top of the nail and then I'm basically just making very small contact with the gel so that I can float it over the cuticle area. Sweeping it from side to side just to apply it to the nail and then I actually go in and smooth it down over the entire nail plate. So now the nail is completely even and flush so there's a smooth shine across the surface and if I touch it, it's not going to snag. So after you've cured that layer, of course you then want to apply your top gel and then you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys decide to recreate it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and Twitter because I love seeing you guys' recreations. And make sure that you subscribe if you aren't already because I have a couple of videos coming up that I think you guys are going to want to see. Like how to do a gel manicure using your regular nail polish. And if you don't use gel and want to know how to keep your stones on, that's coming up too.